What's going on everyone, this is Dom, and today we are getting into my thoughts after a week with the Galaxy Z Flip 5 right here. And you know what, this might be a minor upgrade to a lot of people, but there are some big things to talk about here. First of all, starting out with the design of the whole thing, yeah, it's pretty much the same. It's got a little bit of a boxier look to it, and it does fold completely flat now, so anybody that had an issue with any gap being there or anything like that, that has totally been resolved with this version. You don't have to worry about dust sneaking in that little gap while your phone is closed in your pocket, which which is definitely a good thing. Now, even though it is all glass all the way around, it does feel a little more sturdy in my opinion. I just feel like it's not going to break if I drop it, even though that's probably the case because yes, we do have glass on both sides. Speaking of the sides of this thing, we have a very, very big cover display or flex window as Samsung likes to call it. This is a game changer for this phone in a lot of ways. The thing is using a foldable smartphone a lot of the times, at least for me personally, I am using it from the outside of the phone. I only flip the fold open if I'm going to do something like uh, watch a movie or browse the internet, things like that. But a lot of the times, I just wanna be able to pick up my phone, do a couple of tasks real quick, maybe res respond to a text message, something like that. And it's easier to do that from the outside of the phone instead of having to flip it open each time and go about your business. But with the brand new cover display on here, or the flex window, um, you can actually do multiple things. There are a lot of different widgets on here that you can swipe through that allow you to do things like check the weather. You can launch select apps. Of course, the apps that you can launch are very minimal right now because uh, developers have to update their apps to be able to launch on the flex window here, but I'm sure that a lot of those will become compatible very, very soon. But it's a nice change of pace when you compare it to the smaller window that has been on the Z Flip series before, I actually really like it. So not only is it good at accomplishing quick tasks just by swiping through some of the widgets here or launching your favorite apps, it also works very well as a camera viewfinder, of course, because, well, we have a lot more space to see what's going on in the frame. You can frame things up a little better. You can be able to shoot 16 by nine or nine by 16. You can shoot square, you can shoot portrait mode, you can shoot video, photo, like I said, everything from the front there, but it's just nicer having a bigger display in my opinion, like a much bigger display than before. You can even go as far as watching full on YouTube videos from that flex display, which is pretty crazy. I mean, you have the ability to launch full versions of like the mini versions of full apps, but I think that it's really cool that we have a lot more functionality from the front of this without having to flip open the phone to be able to do any tasks that you wanna do on the inside. I just think it's a really cool touch there and it's obviously stepping up things a little bit for the flip series because well, having that smaller display just wasn't it. Now around the back side, or well, if you have it closed to frame up your photos, the front side, um, we do have dual 12 megapixel shooters. And that's these are exactly the same. Nothing has changed in the camera department. Nothing has changed with the f uh, actual unfolded display on here, except that it does fold flat, which is nice. Um, but we haven't seen a lot of changes this year in terms of things that people usually look for when you're upgrading a smartphone. Now, if you have just last year's model of the year before that, maybe you wanna hold off on things. But if, like I said, if you're new getting into the Flip series, this year is a good year to buy. The camera quality is as good as you would expect. It's a Samsung smartphone. It's 2023. We know how to make good photos on smartphones now. It's just, it's not rocket science anymore. So I really don't have to prove any points in terms of the camera quality. It does good. And that's nothing that you're gonna to have to worry about. In terms of specifications, on the inside here, we have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. We also have eight gigabytes of RAM. Yes, this thing is speedy out of the box. Yes, it's going to maintain over time. At least that was my experience with the previous generation. No slowdowns or anything like that. So it's exactly what you expect in a 2023 flagship smartphone. I mean, this, this is Samsung putting the best of the best inside of here. Though I wish we would have had a bump up on the camera quality. That's just my opinion. They probably could have done it. I'm not sure why they left it the same. But again, like I said, the main thing to see here is the cover display or the flex window. Unfortunately, there's not much else that's different this year with the Flip series. I can't believe we are on the fifth iteration of this smartphone, but it's just as good as ever. And I think that if you're on the fence or you've been on the fence with buying uh, the Z Flip series, 
now is the time to jump in. I think that right now we are at a pinnacle of perfection when it comes to how this phone is designed and how it can be used and the functionality and the durability and the build quality and everything has just come together to make a really great smartphone. I know there's only so many times I can say this, but the real upgrade here is with that cover display, with the Samsung Flex window on the front because it does add a lot more to this phone that I would typically look somewhere else to find and I think that it makes a huge difference in terms of real world usability for this phone without having to flip open the screen to be able to perform all the tasks. You can perform quite a few of them just on the front and all you gotta do is rest your finger on the lock button to hit that fingerprint sensor and have it unlock for you to be able to swipe through widgets. You can go through widgets, I can make phone calls right from the front, I can respond to text messages. It just makes the whole experience a lot more enjoyable. Now I know a lot of people are probably probably wondering about battery life because like I said, not a lot has changed this year and the battery capacity is included in that column of things that has not changed. It's exactly the same as last year's model, but with a bigger display on the front, does that impact the battery life? Well, personally for me, in my experience, I'm happy to report that it doesn't. I've been able to get four and a half to five hours of screen on time with about 20% battery left at the end of the day, which I think is pretty good uh, in comparison to last year's model. I was getting about the same thing, I believe. So it hasn't impacted battery life as much as you would think it does. At least it's not noticeable in terms of my use of everything. But like I said, I'm using this to quickly get things done on the front without having to open it up and utilize that bigger display, which does suck down a lot of, a lot of the battery. So I think that uh, overall, having the cover display there is a good thing, even if the battery capacity hasn't changed, even if the cameras haven't changed, even with all of the things on this smartphone that are exactly the same as last year, I think that the usability on this phone has gone way through the roof because of that brand new cover display. But anyway, I would love to know what you think about the Galaxy Z Flip 5 down in the comments section below. Like I said, it's not that big of an upgrade from last year, but the things that they changed are definitely things that improved usability by a lot. So let me know your thoughts and opinions down in those comments sections below. And if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to hit the thumbs up button. If you're new around here to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos like this drop in the near future. I really do appreciate all the support, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, this is Dom, and I will catch you in the next video.